Hello, I am State Representative Paul Harris, representing the 17th Legislative District. You know, the budget continues to dominate the discussions in Olympia, especially since the revenue forecast announced last week. We are experiencing an additional $778 million shortfall. This means the legislature must address a $5.1 billion shortfall. Keep in mind that this, isn't a drop, this is not a drop in revenue from previous years. In fact, revenue is projected to increase by nearly $3 billion from 2009 to 2013. This shortfall is a result of passing unsustainable budgets, using one-time monies, and including policies or programs with no funding mechanism, and making budget promises that we cannot keep. You know, we need to pass a sustainable budget with ex within existing revenues, and there is no reason we cannot do this in the next 105-day regular session. I hope we see a formal budget proposal soon. It has been a frustrating process as the majority party seems to be playing a waiting game and continually delaying action as the deficit grows. You know, we have been here for over 70 days, and we have yet to fully address our current biennial budget shortfall. Every day we put off balancing our budgets, we compound the problem, and it results in greater loss to our taxpayers. Despite the struggles for employers and the economy, the requests are coming from special interest groups, and what they are actually talking about are tax preferences. Please keep in mind that while I believe tax preferences or tax loopholes, as they are sometimes referred to, should be reviewed for their effectiveness, it is important to understand that tax preferences what tax preferences actually are. You know, one of the largest tax preferences is food, and I am guessing not many would want to close that so-called tax loophole. Many of these tax preferences brings jobs and additional dollars to our economy. You know, my no, power bill, my no power bill did receive a public hearing and was passed out of the Senate Environment, Water, and Energy Committee. No power, it is a complex issue, but basically this bill will help with the fuel mix reports and helps Washington become a cleaner energy state. In the, mean in the meantime, please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or if there are any issues that you'd like to discuss. You know, I thank you for this opportunity to represent you.